which types or which kind of diseases are screened for when you go for the UAE medical test. Remember, we are talking about the medical test in the UAE. The latest procedure for you to follow to get what we call a residence visa. Tune into this video as we try to see those particular diseases that are screened for when you go for the medical test in the UAE for the residence visa. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to press that notification bell. It will be the only way for you to update it when I upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Thank you for supporting and watching videos to this channel. For the new subscribers, please, thank you for, my, for coming to this channel. Subscribe if not subscribe. Remember, we are looking at a road to 2,000 subscribers. Please support this channel by subscribing and pressing the notification bell for you to be updated whenever we upload a new video. Remember, we are still looking at what you call the UAE Resist Visa medical tests medical requirements updated medical requirements for the uae residence visa remember when we are talking about the uae it's a final destination or it's a very it's a final destination for most of the people remember the uae is made up of seven emirates and the most favorite or most favorite destinations is Abu Dhabi and dubai but remember as you're planning your journey to those countries, one thing that should come in mind that they will be very strict with who is coming in their country. What is your healthy status when you're coming to that country? Are you fit to be with the community? Are you fit to be amongst the population of that country? That is a question. Remember, you'll go under what you call the medical test. This will require some documents uh, which we shall look at in other videos. But in today's video, we want us to try to talk about the types of diseases that are being screened for when you go for the, the UAE medical tests. Remember, there are all different kinds of diseases around the world. There are those that are communicable, there are those that are non-contagious, there are those that are contagious. So, what kind of diseases are they looking for? This is what we need to know. By the way, as you're planning to come, have you already checked yourself? Have you already taken the first pre-medical test from your country of origin? That is also very important because remember, for you to avoid any disappointment of any case, it's better you take the first medicals in your country to first ascertain or first ascertain the medical status or your medical status before you can get to be disappointed in that country. Remember, if they find out that whatever you provided is positive or was false information, to contrary to what they get to find out, because you remember you'll do the second medical in their country, it will just be a criminal case and you will be deported immediately. That means you failed the medicals and you proved unfit to be amongst the population. This is exactly what we're talking about at this time. So let us try to look at the size of diseases that are being checked for or what do they check or what do they look for when they are screening for the medicals or for the residence permit for you to have the residence permit. One, HIV. They do test for HIV. And how do they test for HIV? They may not let you know that they're testing for that, but they will take what you call the blood samples. They will collect your blood samples. To some countries, for example in Qatar, they will take you, take the blood samples, go to a hospital, private hospital, take a blood sample. The same, uh, same test will be done by the government uh, the, 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 the government hospitals. So the, the blood samples themselves taken out of you, it is one that they are looking for. So you must be very careful or you must be very, very, very vigilant. Two is what we call the preliminary tuberculosis. Remember, how is this one tested? You may not know how it is tested, 
but they will take what we call an X-ray test. They will take you out of an X-ray. They will tell you, breathe in, breathe out, and they'll have X-rays hanging from your chest. So they are looking at, are there scars or stresses of tuberculosis? Yes, well, it might be a little bit treated because they might have some maze to treat that kind of disease. But remember, it may be in, it may be at your cost for you to have that. And in case you've got it or in case you have it and the feed gallery to give you another second chance, that means what is going to happen is that they will give you a one year. If you have a contract with work for a full two years, they will first give you one year until you get treated up or you get uh, healed up with what you have. Then also, in uh, when you look at in women, uh, the females, they also test what you call pregnancy tests. They do take the pregnancy test. Remember, they do not want someone to come and encroach on the healthy sector. That is what normally happens. So, let us let me try to read through and tell and, and read through what what is written and exactly what do they say about these diseases. One, those found to be with HIV positive or having tuberculosis will be considered medically unfit. Therefore, will not be granted a residence visa. They will be deported immediately by the UAE authorities back to their country of origin. This is what I'm talking about. For example, imagine a situation. You faulted the results from your country of origin. You paid a lot of money to the manpower company. The manpower company did everything for you. And you are deported back to your country. The manpower company does not lose. You get to lose as personally you. They do not lose in any, any account. They've already taken up the money. They've already done their job. Two, residents who are detected with a dormant or an act inactive pulmonary tuberculosis are also considered medically fit. If you consider to have scars of medic of uh, tuberculosis during what we call the chest X-rays, they are also considering you to be medically unfit. Although, to some extent, you may have what we call a waiver. The waiver I'm talking about, by giving you a conditional residence period for you to treat yourself. But remember, this will be at your own cost. Or in case your employer is trying to defend you and is willing to take up that cost, that is well and good. But remember, for them as part of the ministry or as part of the government, you are considered medically unfit. Then remember, not in this case. In this case, what case are we talking about? We are talking about a case where they detect what we call scars of uh, tuberculosis or they detect an inactive pulmonary tuberculosis. In this case, they are granted a one-year healthy fitness certificate for residents subject to treatment and follow up by the Department of the Preventive Medicine or the Government Health Authority. That is what I talked about. That in case if you're so lucky with your employer, you'll be granted what we call a one-year healthy fitness certificate. This healthy certificate, they will, you will be monitored by the government responsible body. But remember, this will involve what we call treatment and cost treatments, which will be bearing the being bound to your stool, to your pockets. So you have to take the medical, you have to take the medical until one year you can get fine. And if they prove to you, or if you prove that you are physically, you are now fine, then they can add the more remaining time and they can give you what you call a residence visa for the UAE. But remember, if you are suspected to be suffering from communicable disease, if you are suspected to be suffering from communicable diseases, it is advisable to get yourself tested in your country before you get to come to this country. Why? To avoid disappointments, 
what disappointments are we talking about? We are talking about disappointments where you have to be deported back to your country. Oh, we are talking about the disappointments whereby at one moment of time you are deported to your time but you already paid all the money to the manpower, to company or the recruitment agency that bought you from your country of origin and these are not willing to refund you back the money. They are not willing to refund you the money. That means you lose out. That means you lose out at that situation. So it's better to carry out those medicals before even your plan or your plan to travel to this country. One thing, hope it's very clear. Thank you so much for guys for coming back to this channel. Remember, we are looking at a road to 2,000 subscribers. It is only your support that we are or we shall be able to achieve this. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to share. Put a comment, drop a comment in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video as we try to see more of the latest procedure of the residence family or the medical test for the residence visa in the UAE. Thank you so much. See you again. It's Max from the Malcolm X. This is from the Max creation.